Good evening Hyperspinners. Today I'm going to show you how to create a cinematic theme using OBS, so get ready. All right, so we're gonna do a quick tutorial on OBS and creating cinematic themes. I'm no expert, but this will get you started here. So uh, first you wanna get the assets. So I got a background here of Mega Man 4. And what I did, uh, what I generally like to do uh, first is just do a quick, um, I hit the uh, eraser here and I just do a quick uh, around here. And once I've done that, then I basically paste that into um, yeah, well, I copy it and put it in another canvas, and then I try to use the magic wand to clean that up. And if it's a clean fit, then great. Otherwise, uh, yeah, okay, let's take that out. And otherwise, I do it all by hand. I use the eraser, I, you know, make it really small, and then I, I zoom in and I delete around it. Um, so you can see the nice clean images here. And then what I do is I try to put it into Photoshop and what um, we'll do here is I use a lasso. So imagine if this was the clean version here, I'm just going to lasso around this tip here, which is kind of, you know, weird here. Um, and we want to do a um, edit, fill, contents, content aware. So when I do that, you're going to see that it, you know, it's trying to fix itself, which it did a pretty decent job. but. When there's not as much color around it, you know, it helps make those lines straighter. Uh, it can take out watermarks, etc. So that's how I ultimately created this uh, uh, clean image of Mega Man. And what I also did is I just looked up gameplay uh, for um, Wily's Castle for Mega Man 4, and I just took OBS to record that. So I just played it full screen. And then I uh, opened up OBS and I hit start recording uh, down here. And that's how I was able to capture that video. So I've got a number of assets here. And what we wanna do now is uh, start putting things together here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and uh, upload this because it's on my phone and who knows how you know, much space I can uh, upload at one time. So I'll get to the next step. All right, so what we're gonna focus now on is the sources down here. You'll just hit the plus sign here. And to add the uh, video itself, uh, you're gonna select media source. Gonna name it something. I named it intro and then I push okay. And then you'll be prompted with this and you'll put in your local file, uh, you know, wherever you saved it. I selected loop in case I uh, mess up or if I wanna keep trying uh, to record. And then I also added Mega Man, which is the clean version there. So I push the plus sign, I click image, and then I selected, you know, I typed in Mega Man and then hit OK. And then you'll be prompted with a blank screen here and you will select the file that you're uh, choosing to uh, add to this and you hit OK. And then I added the uh, background as well. Um, which that is this. So I hit the plus sign again. I selected, uh, you know, the image and then I selected the background image. So that's really it here. Uh, for what it's worth, the canvas, which is uh, the display capture, that's gonna be like what is uh, recorded. So, you, you know, you can move the red um, borders for any of these. You can see the intro. I expanded outside of the canvas itself just by grabbing the little uh, dots here. So you can see that the YouTube stuff doesn't uh, show up, but we'll be able to clean that up uh, even more in Hyper Theme once this is all set. But the uh, purpose of this, or what I'm going to try to attempt here, again, not an expert here, but what I'm gonna do, if I right click Mega Man and select uh, Transform, I'm going to hit Edit Transform. So that's going to show me the position. If I click this uh, uh, eye icon, 
I'm gonna move, uh, right click the background and then order that up so I can see it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click Mega Man and I wanna make sure that, you know, this lands on top. Here, let's get this background up higher. So there you go. And Mega Man is here. So I wanna make sure that this guy lands right on top of, um, you know, where we're at. So the, the thought would be is after Mega Man slides off to the side, I'm gonna land right on top of the uh, image uh, for the background. So, um, yeah, so the thought would be is that essentially moves down and then that's what you see. So uh, let's see if I move that back up. So, we know that the position for Mega Man is 259 and two. So what I'm gonna do is, um, oh, and the red like borders, that won't show up. If I hold down the control button, that allows me to uh, basically move the, uh, the canvas or the, you know, the image uh, more freely. So, it, you know, it doesn't snap into grids sort of thing. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, so I right clicked, I hit transform and I edit transform. So I see 157 and, you know, four here. That's where I want to land. So I'm going to go ahead and click Mega Man. Well, I'm going to hide the background first. I'm going to, uh, let's see, place Mega Man. So 157 and four is what we're after. So you can see I, I slipped them off the canvas and I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, start recording. And I'm going to slide them across here It'll give you at least the idea here. Then two, I don't know, 53. So the music's still playing. Uh, it's just not, I, I've got my headphones on. And I'll do that slower when I'm actually doing this, but um, I'll probably slide them in right at this time. Uh, and so I'm going to hit stop recording. And what that'll do is it will. I might open up another instance just so I don't have to do all that again. Um, so I've got a screen grab, I think. Yeah, I've got a screen grab of, let's see, is it this one? Yep, so there you go. He's sliding right over. So you can see the, the border's not there, um, the red border, but you know I'm dragging it around with my mouse like a maniac and it was moving. So here, so there you go, it's, it's all moving. And what I'm gonna do is put that video on top um, in a new OBS here. And I'm gonna basically hide all of these other things here. Hit uh, media source. I'm gonna say uh, tutorial, I don't know, it doesn't matter just so you know what it is. And I'm gonna go browse and we're going to find that file, which is this guy here. And that will play. And the thought would be is I'm going to move, so I'm playing it. And then I'm gonna show the background like right at the right time, um, which is, and we'll move it to the front here. I'm gonna do it one more time. Boom. So that's uh, essentially how I'm going to do it. And then um, it will just be the video itself in the theme. Um, and from there, what I've got to do is uh, I've actually got to make that frame on that background. So we can actually put that video theme. Yeah, that's the other thing. You've got to embed the video into the video, which is kind of annoying, but um, we've got to figure out placement now. So let's uh, let's see here. We want to get the where's this at? We need to get the border for the theme itself. That's not it. So what we're going to do is go to the Facebook page, get the asset again, because I 
thought I had it, but I guess I don't. And we'll copy that image. And we are going to pause the video so I can start uploading that and save some time. So I'll catch you in the next step. So I'm back at it. And what we're gonna do is add a logo. Uh, so I created this image. Just took it from any movies. I added a little background to it. So there's the image itself. And we're gonna make this, uh, well, we'll be okay. We might have to use that canvas larger. You can see how it's kind of annoying to grab it here, but hey, whatever. So yeah, that's uh, that will be showing up here as well. So I'm gonna just move that to the side here. And the logo is hidden. This is on top and you can just drag this as well um, up or down. So the tutorial, uh, tutorial video part is there and there it goes we're gonna screen record i guess to practice and just at the right time what we're gonna do is hit the background to display on top and something that i did do and what i don't know if i actually fixed that into obs or not but you've got to add a frame to the background so yeah yeah so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna hit stop there we're gonna edit this by just double clicking it and we're going to take the file that i uh, just recently well i haven't done that yet let's go and open this here you go so what i did is i just uh, i took that frame and i put it where the frame of the video will be and then i deleted the inside of that just by using the uh, uh, wand here so i've got to save this over the top uh, this was a yep jpeg and we're just going to save over the top of that and yeah it's fine so there you go so and what we've got to do now is we've got to also upload the media source this is going to be the gameplay Hit OK. I'm going to open this up and we're going to find the gameplay for the NES, this particular game. And I got a Mega Man. Let's see, where are you? There's Mega Man 4. So hacks, 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 hacks. Here you go. So this is going to show the gameplay. We're going to loop that sucker. And we're going to just place that right over the top here. And what we're going to do is make this a little low. Well, sorry, we're going to move right click order. We're going to move it down. And we're gonna move this down again. We're gonna move it down again. Let's see. Oh, I've gotta clear that out. So, the background here, which, which one is this? It's gotta be a PNG file, so you'll see that. We're gonna frame that up. We're gonna PNG this background. So that's going to keep that transparency, which is important. And we are going back here. We're going to go to background. We're going to change this to the PNG. There you go. So now hit OK. So now we see it. That's good. So that is that's the goal there. So now we've got to we're trying to think through this. What we're going to do is hide the background hide the tut uh, tutorial video and we are going to show yeah the video here let's see this is going to go right up top because we're going to put that right over it yeah 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 yeah. 
and the gameplay is going. So we gotta move that gameplay here. I'm just trying to prep it. So the order, right? So that that's the video that we first recorded with you know him sliding across and then right at the right time what we're going to do is display the background and the gameplay uh, so that is that's the interesting part here we gotta time that just right um, so what i might do is well let's make that loop first so there it goes across the screen and then we're going to display the gameplay which we might just do right now and then we'll display the background yeah it's going to be something like that so the recording yeah let's let's just do it um so you see the background is a little different than what the um yeah the that guy sliding across the screen is but you get the idea so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, let's go ahead and record this. So we're recording and then we're going to display the gameplay, which shows up there. I'm just pushing the little I, uh, icon there. And then we are going to throw the background on now. And then we're going to slide the logo over here. So I just click the logo. Uh, we're not going to worry about the stuff that's happening on the background because the theme itself uh, and hyper theme will be just fine here. So we're uh, moving the Mega Man icon around and then we are just gonna let it sit there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video so you can actually see what the video itself looks like. And let's take a look together because I've not done a lot of these. Uh, this I think is the recording here. Yeah, so it's going to be totally a timing thing, I think, uh, after I get off the uh, tutorial here. Yep, there you go. Here comes the icon, or the logo, up at the top. And if I hold down the control uh, key, it's going to look smoother, and I'm going to be focused a little bit more. So you can see the idea is all there. So we're going to... We're going to close that and I'll show you hyper theme or sorry, the uh, yeah, hyper theme now. And what I'm going to do is just load that uh, that video onto a blank canvas. So I'm just going to select background uh, just for an example sake here. And we're going to upload the video. And the video is oh yeah, that's that's the other thing. So with this test here, the best case is, is I'm gonna just change this to a FLV so you guys can see it, but um, FLV, I just changed the uh, extension here. So now it's gonna show up here. I'm gonna close that out and reopen it. There you go. So then so then what I'm doing is I'm just taking out those edges. So remember, uh, we could see, um, you know, see how there's things happening on the recording. I'm just taking that edge out and uh, stretching this guy out a little bit more. So you won't see that. Um, so obviously this is going to take some tinkering um, with both hands here, but you can kind of see, you know, what's happening here so yeah that's good enough for now let's kind of preview this thing but keep in mind you know i'm just trying to give you something to chew on uh, so you guys can make some more themes but um, it's going to be nicer i think when i'm focused here so that is the tutorial to uh, use obs to kind of make these uh, animated themes um, it takes a lot longer than you think when you're trying to make these cinematics. Uh, hyper theme is the way to go if uh, you don't have a lot of animation, but I think it pays off. So I'm going to try to finish this guy off and uh, we will post this tutorial and the theme.